are we starting with? The auction clearance rates. So we're starting there. You would think that with all the wind that was out there on the weekend that nobody would have turned up. The, the wind was so bad where I was staying that all the birds decided to come inside the house instead of living outside for the weekend. And that's what usually happens. Uh, the issue with the auctions, um, the people talk about slowing down. Not true. 77.7% right. clearance rate for the week, up from this time last week. This time last year it was 67.9%, so it's still moving higher. Sydney performing best, 82.7. Melbourne came in at 76.5. Both of those two better than last week. Now here's an interesting one. Brisbane, 66%. And people said, oh, volume. It's, it's not the volume. Mm. It's, it's, it's the percentage. And it's been low for a long time. It was 66%. Canberra at 80% wow. and, and South Australia Adelaide at 60.6%. So clearance rates are excellent. Okay, homes advertised for sale? Up 0.93%, down. There is more volume. Which is nice, but not a lot, but down 1.87% over this time last year. Okay. The New Zealand market was slightly different. It's down 1.3% over this time last year, but up. 6.41 per cent in stock. Uh, that's fairly historical for them for their stock to start coming in about now. Okay. And their market's booming very nicely right now. The okay. agents are very happy people. Residential rent price movement? Uh, now, flat line there for if you look at the rent movement for the moment, but I would really like to say to you that the most important thing is that the four capital cities are doing well. Sydney 1.23 per cent up over this time at the start of the year. Okay. You know, you've got uh, Brisbane at 0.27 per cent up, uh, Melbourne at 1.64, but uh, Adelaide at uh, 0.22, but the worst capital cities which have kept the average down to minus 1.2 per cent from the year to date is Perth and Darwin. Now, Perth's rents are down 6.34 wow. per cent and Darwin 8.79 per cent from the start of the year when you take the averages. So the renters holding all the power there. So it's pretty pretty tough. Residential vacancy rates? Uh, now that's, in, that's also starting to, you can see why the rents aren't moving in certain right. areas. 2.82 per cent in Sydney. It's on the up. It's, it's okay, it's, it's good, it is on the up, but it's good. Melbourne's a bit worrying. Uh, Melbourne came in uh, over 4%, so at uh, 5%, sorry, 5.14% for Melbourne. So it's the first time it's hit 5 in a long time. And Perth, 6.75%. So the vacancy rate's gone up to 4.91. So if you look at the chart, it's a steep climb all yeah. the way, driven uh, significantly by Perth and, and even more so now by Melbourne. The other capital cities aren't doing well, but I'm more concerned about Melbourne and Perth than I am anywhere else. Gentlemen, we've run out of time, but thank you for joining me. And to you at home for watching, I'm Carrington Clark. Thanks for watching Your Property Empire. The information featured in this program is general in nature and therefore should not be relied upon. Guests appearing on the program may have commercial arrangements with some of the companies mentioned. Before making any investment, insurance or financial planning decisions, you should consult a licensed professional who can advise whether your decision is appropriate for you.